This is how you do the one by one ribbing. I've just done a basic stockinette stitch um, to give something to work with. First you'll do a knit stitch and then you'll do a purl stitch. And you'll continue doing a knit, then purl, then knit, then purl for as many stitches as you have on the needle. I'm just going to speed this up to the end of the row and I'll meet you back at the end. As you can see when you finish, that each stitch, the knit stitch is a straight line and the purl stitch has a bump. That's how you'll be able to tell what you need to do the next row. As you can see, the first stitch is a knit stitch due to the straight row. So you'll do that as the knit stitch even though the last row it was a purl stitch. The next stitch after is a purl stitch because it has the bump on it. it. Previously that was the knit stitch. And so you'll continue along doing knit and purl, then knit, then purl, all the way along to the end of your needle. I will speed this up to the end of the row again and then meet you back at the end. As you can see, you can um, the beginning of your one by one ribbing is starting to form. You can clearly see the knit and the purl stitches now. You'll continue doing the knit and purl pattern where straight lines is knit and a bump is a purl until you finish getting the length of the ribbing that you want. I'll just speed this up till we get to the end. This is what it looks like after a few rows have been done. As you can see, you see it's brought the work in and you can only see the knit stitches because the purl stitches are hidden in between each stitch. It's quite stretchy um, and looks good even when it's stretched out. Here's a closer view of the front. and a closer view of the back. 